Master Switch. And finally, please welcome to the stage Santa's helpers doing Jingle Bell Rock. so welcome to vlogmas day one i'm just gonna be taking you guys through my day today i am a uh, mental health therapist so i'm doing telehealth currently so i typically see um maybe five to six clients per day so i'm just gonna go ahead and take you guys through what that looks like not really engaging in my sessions or anything like that but i'll just be giving you guys updates throughout the day so i hope you guys enjoy um and i'll keep you guys posted so i'm craving starbucks right now and i really don't want to leave my house or spend money i know they have a uh, eggnog um frappe so i'm like okay let me see what i can do so i'm gonna go ahead and make that so here is the eggnog it's by the brand moola moola i'm just gonna go ahead and put it up to the first line And then I'm going to go ahead and season it with a little cinnamon. So we have our cinnamon, oh, cinnamon here. Okay. All right. Then we have our nutmeg. This is what the whole one would look like. You crack the shell open. And then I'm just going to have one that's already been used. And I have a little, what do you call it? I don't know. I can't think of that right now. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead, a grater. I'm going to go ahead and just put some in there. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead and add some almond essence and I'm just going to put like a cork full. So I went ahead and added some ice and now I'm going to blend. So this looks like the consistency I'm looking for. Ooh. Let's do a taste test. Mm-hmm. I did something. So if it was nighttime, I definitely would be adding some Ray and Nevue rum. Look, look how much is inside. I think we have another full bottle over there, but I would be adding some of this. But I'm on the clock, so I'm being ethical. Doesn't taste like Starbucks, but I give myself an 8 out of 10. Alright guys, so here I am at work. Um, I have my computer in front of me. I have my book that I take notes. And I have my planner. 
look at my planner. It's all filled with names and highlights and stuff like that. But I just recently got off the phone with one of my clients and um, this is why I do this job because I really feel like I'm able to empathize with people and some people just have their job and they just kind of just do it. Like, you know what I mean? They, they're just checking off the boxes and just trying to move through the process where at least I try my best to actually listen to the client and, you know, understand where they're coming from. So she was telling me how, <clears throat> like for the other support systems that she has, she hasn't been picking up the phone calls and I'm the only one that she talks to or, you know, she actually shares what's going on with and stuff like that. And, you know, that really made me feel good because, you know, what would be the point of doing my job if I'm not actually helping people? So, yeah, that's what's going on. I have my little <clears throat> drinky drink here. Yeah, so after dinner, I'm going to go ahead and take a shower and maybe watch a movie or something like that and go to my bed. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating for dinner and then I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. So this is my dinner. Nice and steaming. Hubby made um, dumpling with some cabbage. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this and head right to bed because I'm tired, period. So welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Today I would say that I had a, hmm, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say my day was like at a 6. I accomplished everything that I needed to accomplish, but I would say that it was a struggle to just to push through. Um... I don't know. I'm just a little bit tired. Um, on Monday, I only had a half a day because I just, you know, wasn't really feeling it. And I pushed through yesterday, you know, did my Vlogmas. And then today I pushed through <laughs> my clients. Um, so I just wanted to just check in with you guys and just say, hey, I'm still here. I'm trying to be consistent as possible. Um, but my life is kind of boring. I just kind of wake up and talk to clients all day. And then at the end uh, of the day, I just kind of like eat dinner and prepare for bed. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. But just wanted to stop in and say like, <clears throat> being a therapist, um, I get to like talk to all different types of people and like just hearing their stories and like how many different I would say like um institutional um entities that affect them you know that you would think you know people would be more empathetic you would think that people would I don't know actually care but they just seem like they don't at times and for me that's kind of troubling because when I went into this profession I kind of did it for like a specific reason because I actually wanted to help people and you know just hearing these different stories and hearing how like you know these different support systems aren't really supporting them is definitely sad and you know it's kind of like you know I, it's not really much that i can do but just like listen to their stories and kind of give them that like motivation and you know whatever ideas or you know interventions that i can think of like you know trying to implement those but you know there's only so much you can do when you know your support system aren't really supportive but Again, I'm here. I'm gonna have some stew chicken and rice for dinner. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to my bed. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Um, and that's my last day of work. So hopefully after tomorrow, I'll have like a little bit more time to be more interactive with you guys. So see you tomorrow. Bye. 
I'm trying to feel the festive, you know, the festivities. Like, I'm trying to get into feeling like, okay, Christmas is right around the corner. I even, I'm taking some time off. So, I even wrote down on, um, in my planner, like, you know, okay, girl, this is your break. So, like, I'm like, I highlighted it, you know, my time off. And I just wrote, like, um, rest your mind and your body, babe. And, you know, that's just a little note to myself because I feel like, you know, people might think, okay, like you're at home doing work, so it must be easier. And it's just, it's something about it that's just really not much easier. Like I still feel so tired. I still feel so drained. Um, so, you know, I don't know if it's just because like, you know, we're human. So we need those breaks in time, you know, where you know, we're able to go out, like for me to travel, go to happy hour or, you know, do the things that I usually do on the weekend and I don't get that. So it just seems like I'm always in work mode. Um, so I'm just happy to just take that little time off and I'm going to just focus on myself. I'm going to rest. I'm just going to Hopefully the shutdown doesn't happen yet and I can probably go get myself a massage and just really indulge in some serious self-care and, um, you know, just focusing on myself because like a lot of times like throughout the week and stuff like that, I'm, you know, thinking about my clients. Okay, I got to call this one at this time and what can I, what kind of interventions can I figure out to implement for this one or, you know, talking to my supervisor about this and other people and all of these different things just kind of like going through and like almost robotic and just checking off these boxes and doing all of these different things. And so being able to have that time where it's just like, I'm just talking and thinking about Allison, you know, that would be good too. Like, don't get me wrong. I love my clients, but of course people need their me time, right? So yeah, talk to you guys later. Hi, um, are you guys doing the unlimited um, coffee for um, healthcare workers? Um, so we're doing what's all free coffee. Um, I mean, we could do multiple per like, um, per I only need one. You just need one? Yes. Okay. So you want to do a tall free coffee? Can, does it, can I have it to be an iced coffee? Uh, let me see. Yeah, we can do an iced coffee. All right. Can I have a caramel, um, iced coffee, please? And do you want anything in it besides the caramel? No, that's it. No, just caramel, no cream? Yes, cream. Yes, cream, okay. And I want it to be sweetened, of course. Okay, cool. So you want to do the caramel and you want to do classic syrup in there? Yes. Okay, give me one second. All right, okay. I was whatever you're doing, okay? All right, thank you. Thank you. She gonna say she gonna have my total for me at the window and it's supposed to be free. Hi, how are you? Hello. All right, that'll just be out just a second, okay? Okay, do I need to show my ID or anything no, like that? Good. Okay. Do you need a straw? Yes, please. Here you go. Thank you. This bun is too big for my car. Oh my God. So right now I'm driving a coupe and I definitely need to get like a truck or something because the more or the longer my hair gets is definitely the harder it gets to fit my bun and it keeps banging on the top and like messing it up. There you go. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Okay. So guys, this is what my ID looks like. Yes, I'm an actual therapist. I have a master's in social work and I also have a bachelor's in social work as well. So yeah. Y'all want me to vlog and be real, right? So just when I was about to show y'all my outfit of the day, 
my iced coffee spilled on me on my jacket so i don't know welcome to legally alley tv vlogmas day three today is december 3rd it is my grandmother's birthday on my mom's side i just want to say shout out to you mama i hope that you have a good day i know you're probably not going to see this obviously on today but i know you're planning a party so hopefully they can show you this at your party i hope that you have a good time and live to see many 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 more years and you continue to be that jovial person that you are to always, you know, bring that light and laughter into our family. So thank you for that. So, yeah, um, for the rest of the day, I'm just going to go ahead. Look at my bun. <sighs> for the rest of the day, I'm just going to go ahead and talk to my client. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Legally Alley Vlogmas number four. So today I've just been inside. I've had a lot of work to finish up. So I've been trying to finish that up. That's why I've been MIA, but right now I'm heading to the ATM and then I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm thinking we're gonna get some Chick-fil-A suggested by hubby it's raining outside right now let me show you guys it's raining outside but yep so let me go ahead and get some money and i'll get right back to you guys all right so here i am with my chick-fil-a i'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys what I got. So I got the Southwest salad and I'm not sure if the Southwest salad comes with the macaroni and cheese or if it was just gifted to me, but macaroni and cheese. Um, I got an eight count nugget. Ooh. And like I said, I tried the Southwest salad. So this is what it's looking like. So, apparently only 88% of the people that watch my video are actually subscribers. So, if you are watching my video right now and you are not subscribed, go ahead and pause and hit the subscription. Subscribe to Legally Out of TV. Mm. Subscribe to Legally Alley TV and make sure that you stay tuned for the rest of Vlogmas. I'm going to try to get more creative with my videos, but we're going to see. So the macaroni and cheese is good. The creamy salsa dressing. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that on my salad. Pour it all over. I'm sure I'm gonna want all of it. So yeah, I really had a long week. I'm not gonna front. I still have some things that I need to even finish up that I haven't even taken care of. I have a treatment plan review due for one of my clients that I've been seeing for six months. <laughs> Slap period. Chick fil A 10 out of 10. Anytime you don't know what to eat, just get Chick fil A. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for a bed. I'm 
hopefully I can wake up tomorrow, get my um, work done, and then just come and hang out with you guys for the day. So look forward to Vlogmas Day 5. Welcome to Legally Alley TV, Vlogmas Day 5. Today on my channel, my sister is going to ask me some Christmas related questions. So go ahead and stay tuned for the rest of the video. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Okay. Um, do you go to any Christmas parties? Well, I'm thinking, okay, if me did that, Jamaica, I'm going to put some money, period. Not yeah, the word. what I did, I put some money, I shell, 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 all the way until six o'clock in the morning. But seeing how I'm Corona. in America during a pandemic, um, the only partying I'll be doing with is with you guys. So. Uh, yes, in the house for the holidays. Or, you know, normally, like, your jobs will have, like, little Christmas, Christmas parties thing, right. or holiday parties and, and stuff like that. They'll tell you to bring, that. like, something. But like, bring a food or something. Like a potluck? Mm -hmm. Nah, I was talking more bougie than that. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, Question number two. Do you travel at Christmas or stay home? Um, typically I would travel just because I used to be in a long distance relationship and I would go back to visit my boyfriend at that time. And also my family was in Jamaica and then I wouldn't want to be in America. So travel. <laughs> right. I would travel too, because who want to be, it's like, girl, don't even no, do that. I, listen, you know, you'd be pressed for America. No, nah, I was about to listen to what I was about to say. I was like, who, I was about to say, who want to be in America during holidays? But my best friend's birthday is, um, during Christmas, like not during shout Christmas. out to you, Dejanae. Shout out to my bestie. Um, that was actually very ugly, but um, <laughs> yeah. I'm fixing this here this whole time. Go okay, ahead. so do you direct? Do you decorate your house? Do you decorate your house? Um, no. I don't decorate my house. I the mean, most... I would like to, but like, it's just like no one has time. time money to spare we got to buy especially with covid corona. right and then we trying to buy christmas gifts and stuff like that so it's like we just scrape up what we have and just call it a day we just put up like i just put up the the little fruits i just put up a mm -hmm. while ago Duh, oh. that's the one little that we, really <laughs> we tried and we have some like festive flowers and, and stuff we like that do the christmas tree we want to do that so we were supposed to do the christmas tree today we were supposed to decorate the christmas tree today but unfortunately we, we can't, can't find, find the, the lights, lights like, and most of the ornaments and that's all we had like we yeah. had everything all in one so i don't know like so we went. set the christmas tree up but we we're just didn't decorate it yeah yet. we didn't decorate it yet Okay, next question is, um, when do you put... Oh, sorry, I already read that. Um, next question is, do you have a real or fake Christmas tree? Fake. Definitely fake. I mean, it, I think it's just more convenient. It's not like I'm against getting a real Christmas tree. I wonder if you get spoiled. I would, you got, I think you got to get a new one every year. So it's not like I'm against it, but who's going to... It's just And then wasting money. You like remember we, we just saying time? Like, we just don't <laughs> have time. Like We don't have money either, so... <laughs> Period. Not um, money for that, child. What tops your tree? Um, I actually was thinking about that, and I was thinking I want like a, an angel or something like that. Something this time. that's interesting, you know, like yeah. I don't know what we had last year. What did we put on I top of it? I don't even think we really put anything on top of it because I, I don't. We don't have an angel or a star or whatever. I thought I think I had put that little red bow, bow. Mm -hmm, the yeah. ribbon thing. Yeah um how long do you leave up your decorations for i would say a little bit past new year's probably like the week and a half after that because we just like we said we would be lazy Don't nobody <laughs> feel like but listen people november. be putting up their christmas tree on november before thanksgiving like yeah on november 1st so mm -hmm. we just be getting... first of all we're lagging right now we're what's the i know not lagging. what's the word I mean, I get what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to put this joint up. Right. Period. Um, do you have any Christmas Eve traditions? Well, my tradition is I made one last year, I think it was. I want to open a present on New Year's. Not I mean, New not Year's, New Year's. Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Um, but we don't. We never made a set. Yeah. Like that's no, I don't think we have any traditions. Yeah, we don't. Just 
Go to just sleep get and excited. wake up. <laughs> Go to sleep and wake up. And I'd be ready. Maybe have a drink, but that's not really a tradition, so not really. Um, Use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. <laughs> Is that one noise? Yeah, it's yeah. one consistent noise. Yeah, just okay. very loud. <laughs> Um, what is the best present you've ever received? The best present I've ever received? Hmm. That's maybe a, really a car. Good. Maybe when my mom bought me a car. Well, well <laughs> a car. So, yeah, I think a car. Um, I don't what, even what know. would you say for yourself? The best gift. Best gift ever in my whole entire life, Lydia. Yeah. People don't really be buying me gifts like that, it's, to be okay, honest. When, okay, if I do get a gift, it's not going to be, like, the best gift. It's just, like, clothes or, like, shoes or something. And I don't think I have a, a clothing or a shoe that I just... It's just the best thing I've ever had. The best gift I've ever got myself... Is the was, YSL bag. It's my YSL bag. Like, I, mean, <laughs> I, thought, I thought you would have said um Louis Vuitton. But that, you know, I really liked that one because it was my first luxury bag to myself. Which one? So that the, um, the, Louis, one? the Louis oh. Vuitton. No, I actually bought MCMs before. Never mind. <laughs> Peace. Um, what is the best present you've ever... No, sorry. Girl. I did it again. <laughs> um, Give me two more. What is the worst present you've ever received? The worst present I re ever received was nothing. Like, for me, I don't really think, like... It's, Christmas is not all about just getting presents. Yeah, like, like that's just try. just like a little add-on. Like, that's not... I mean, what really is the meaning behind Christmas? Because lots of people have different theories. Obviously, people celebrate, well, the meaning is supposed to be for... I mean, I just for, do it because I'm in America, and that's what people be doing. The meaning is supposed to be for Jesus, but, I mean... We don't do that because we're... We don't... Um, people are just... I don't know. Actually, let me tell you the reason why I like Christmas. I just like the fact that there's a holiday that you like, just like Thanksgiving. Like it's not like I celebrate Thanksgiving and care about that pilgrimage and whatever else went on or whatever. I don't know. It's I just like just the fact that I just could like, get together with my family, have eat, a nice meal, yeah, you know, eat. watch a movie, put up the Christmas tree, just do something together as yeah. a family. So that's the, what I like about it. But the whole background, all of that extra stuff. Mm. All right. You don't do that. Um, as a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished was for you? I know she got birth it's um sister, so I just know that. So in my head, you ain't want it. I mean, it's not like you ain't want it, but it's not like oh my gosh, I really wish I had what she wanted. That I can't think of something. Maybe like a shoe or something. I don't know. Hmm. I want an MCM bag, and she got an MCM bag, but no one bought her the MCM bag. I she gifted it, it to myself. So. Right, so it will be an MCM bag because I really want an MCM bag. So I really want an MCM bag. If anyone's watching this and you want to send me if y'all want to sponsor MCM this an MCM bag and me one too, um, I don't have anyone, and I don't have the pink. I want the pink one. So yeah. or the white. No, I'm gonna mess that up. Mm, guys, what I don't know. What color would what color? Guys, I comment get? down below what are some gifts you're asking your families for right. um for Christmas. Let me know. Like, Cause I need some gift ideas. Like I just don't know like what to get people. Like, what do we even get mommy? Like I already got mommy her gift. Oh, uh, can it be for me too? All right, guys. I'll tune in <laughs> with you guys tomorrow. Okay. Hopefully, there'll be more festivities happening. We Hopefully can actually we can do the put tree. up our tree. Like, I want to show y'all that the tree is actually here. The tree it is actually here. We just don't right. have what's needed. Okay. Right. So, so see y'all tomorrow. As... Welcome back to Legally Alley Vlogmas Day 6. Today on my channel, we will be decorating our Christmas tree, which is located right behind us. Yesterday, I could not find our decorations, but my mom came in and she found some decorations. Um, so we have our lights. I think I'm going for like a gold theme, but we'll see what we come up with. All right, so, so what do you think we should put on first? Should we put on the lights or the ornaments? I think we should put the ornaments on. You think so? 
Because I think that we're not going to be able to put the ornaments on if the lights is on. Yeah, let's put, put the, the lights, lights on. Me to show you these are my two favorite ornaments this one right here and also this christmas tree one right here if you guys are still tuned in to vlogmas day number seven just go ahead and give me a nice thumbs up obviously i'm keeping you entertained but today i decided that i wanted to just show you guys some essential coats or jackets um, for the winter season. So go ahead and stay tuned for that. All right, so my first essential jacket is this Teddy coat. I love the color. Um, it's that, you know, neutral color that fits well with everything for the winter. You don't really have to think too hard about it matching. So I really, really like this. There's a button, well, two buttons in the middle let me see how far i can step back not that much but it comes down essentially to my knee so with this you could definitely you know dress this up or dress this down has pockets so this is jacket number one all right, so this is jacket number two. Now, this isn't really too much of a thick jacket, but I think this is a really good jacket to go ahead and layer. Um, I have a Walmart haul that I recently put out with this jacket. And so as you can see, it's kind of lined inside. The sleeves aren't lined. So this is what this one looks like. Yeah, really, really love it. Like I said, I could like probably put another sweater or something underneath because it's kind of oversized. But I think it would be cute like this. You know, wear it open on those days that it's not that cold like today. So yeah, this is jacket number two. All right, so this is jacket number three. Um, I really, really love how soft this jacket is. It's one of my favorite. So this one is more of a crop jacket, but it still keeps me warm. The neck is like buttoned up like that. You know, so, or you can wear it open, but you know, if you're really feeling cold, it has a zipper right here and then it also has like some buttons to kind of snap it close all right so this is jacket number three so this jacket is maybe something that i would wear to more of a dressed up event maybe like church or you know just if i was being trying to like pop out a little bit more than normal you know it's definitely giving fur Another neutral color, which I love. It has buttons here to kind of button it all the way down. Now this one covers my butt, but it doesn't go all the way down to my knee. So yeah. 
jacket number four. All right, so this jacket is my everyday jacket. It is my North Face. So listen, I don't care if you guys think it's not that cold to be wearing a North Face yet. I have been wearing my North Face. When my mom sees me with my Uggs on, she's like, girl, like, where are you going? It's not that cold. Like, why are you wearing Uggs? But I'm usually a cold natured person, so I'm always cold. This be me. This be me for real. <laughs> Walk into my car. But yeah, I really, really love this jacket. Again, this is a jacket that I can go ahead and, you know, layer underneath. That's why it's, you know, a little bit big. I got a large. But yeah, really, really love this one. This is my everyday jacket, every single day. All right, so this is jacket number five. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for tuning in to Vlogmas week one. I really, really hope you guys enjoy the content that I provide to you. Let me know some ideas that you guys have that you would want to see from me um, for Vlogmas. So again, thank you. So just go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you would be notified whenever I post new content.